Next up, at UFC 300, we have a hotly debated fight. We have Charles Oliveira as a 2-1 to underdog taking on Armin Sarukian. Charles Oliveira, while he is a 2-1 to underdog, seems to be the overwhelming public favorite. I have seen maybe 5% of the comments say Armin wins and 95% say the champ has a name, the champ has a name, trash the take, champion bad does take. Have a name. It is Charles Dubronx Oliveira. Where did that come from? Where did that come from? He said it. He said the champion. He always said the champion has a name. Oh, I didn't even it's know that's where him. it came from. Oh, I'm fucking casual, man. I, I guess so. Oh, what an insult. Anyway, we got Charles Oliveira, the former lightweight world champion, 34 and nine in his career, four and one in his last five, coming off that finish win over Benil Darius, Armin Sarukian, 21 and three in his career, also four and one and five, coming off his finish win over Benil. I have to sneeze. Hey, hey, yeah. put your hand up here real quick. Bless me. Bless you. Thank you so much. Ah, that felt good. I, f- I feel the blessings. Yeah, I and so will Armin because I think Armin wins this fight. I think Armin, frankly, and you guys hated this when I said it the other day, is basically a little Islam. I know it's the same weight class. He seems smaller. He's a little Islam. He's going to wrestle not nearly as well as Islam, but I think Armin's a better striker than Islam, and people hate that take too. I think Armin's a good striker with phenomenal wrestling, and I think most people can agree with that. Not agreeing with that is insane. We know he's got very good wrestling, and we know he's got pretty good striking. Armin Sarukin is a guy that will come forward, strike, working the takedowns. He's not desperate for either one. He's not immediately shooting. He's not winging wild punches. We did watch him get ice skated a little bit against Joaquin Silva, but Joaquin Silva hits like a freight train. But Armin Sarukian, similar to an Islam, will come forward, shoot takedowns, and not be afraid to wrestle. He's taking on Charles Oliveira. Charles Oliveira, as we all know, laser pinpoint accuracy striker. The most submission wins in the history of the UFC. He is dangerous on his feet. He is dangerous on the ground. He gets his own offensive takedown. Charles Oliveira was that guy for a long time. He was a bit of a journeyman, losing odds and ends, videos of him tapping out, quitting, turning his head, getting finished, and then all of a sudden he put it together and then went on a wild, a wild tear. Beat pretty much every single person they put in front of him and made it look easy, was finishing everybody. That only blemish in the last however long is that one loss, and it was to Islam Makachev, the current champion. Because unlike a Justin Gagey who rocked Charles, he dropped Charles, dropped him, but didn't follow him to the ground. He was afraid to go on the ground with him. So then Charles shook it off as he does, and then he finished Justin Gagey. Pretty sure Dustin Poirier dropped him as well. If it wasn't him, it was... uh, Chandler Michael did. Chandler. Yeah, Chandler dropped him as well. Also didn't go to the ground with him. Islam. Well, I think he said, did. Well, Islam said, I don't give a fuck. I'm going to the ground with this guy. Went to the ground with him, submitted Charles Oliveira. I think this is the same. And people hate that take. Like, the hate that I get for picking a two-to-one favorite is crazy. It's He's a two-to-one favorite. I'm picking the favorite. I think he gets the takedowns. Doesn't get submitted, and I don't know if he could submit Charles because I don't think he's as good on the ground as Islam is, but he can certainly do some work on top. We watched him in the Joel Alvarez fight, and this feels very similar to that. Not skill-wise. Charles is 10 times better than Joel, but I picked Armin to beat Joel. The community came from my head, and then Armin beat the shit out of Joel. I think this is going to be a similar thing. I think Armin is the number two guy on the planet. Jakey boy, what do you think? Yeah, Armin sucks. And one of my there favorite thing, one of my favorite things to do, honestly, and this kind of is, it, it, it's a little bit transfer from the Bo Nickel fight, but a little bit different. I, I talked about Bo Nickel coming off that KO with Val, and and what I love to do more than anything is fade these favorite wrestlers coming off of KOs, because just like Bo coming off that knockout, That's it's fair. probably going to strike with Cody. I guarantee Armin coming off that big knockout versus Darius, another grappler, he is going to come in knowing that Charles can get hurt, knowing that you can drop a guy like Charles, and he is going to try and strike with Charles. And yeah, you might be able to strike with Charles for a little bit, but we saw Armin get put on skates pretty bad just two fights ago, and what was that strike that he got put on skates with? 
a nice little left hook. And one of Charles' best strikes is that nice tight left hook. And if he lands on the chin instead of the temple that was landing on Armin, he is going to get put out and he is going to get hurt. I also think that that uh, Oliveira can have much more success, even if he is off his back, than against he, uh, Islam. Islam, he went in that fight, was way too aggressive, got in trouble early, was pulling guard, was just like trying to do a, do a lot more wild stuff. I think this one, he, he he turns into the Charles of old that we were used to seeing against like the Darius, against the whatever, to where he's, he's striking, he's aggressive, but he's landing some good shots. I think Armin's going to hang out on the feet too much because it's uh, Charles is one of those guys where... You're gonna land, and you're, you're gonna, gonna think land. You keep landing. That's exactly yeah. right, right? And you might yeah. hurt him, whatever, you. and you're gonna and you're gonna be like, "Yes, here we go. I'm gonna get this knockout." And all of a sudden, you're fucking hurt. And once Charles has you hurt, it is bad news because he is Correct. gonna jump all over you. The bet that I like that I played that's moving a little bit. His fight does not go the distance. I can't believe it's only minus two fifty. Charles Oliveira. I don't think has been to a decision in his last ten years. Yeah, he gets finished. Yeah, he ten gets years. Finished. He will yeah. go out on a shield. He will be aggressive. Um, and maybe I'll jinx it here. It, it, it's still moving towards the other side, but um, I, I, I like that bet. And um, but I'm, I gotta go Charles Oliveira here. I, I think that Armin. I, I've been against Armin. I think I picked him against Darius, but I think I picked against him in every single fight. I do have a little bit of a bias against Armin. I think he's a little bit fraudulent. I think Charles can catch him on the feet, <laughs> hard him enough to engage in the grappling. And obviously, we know what Charles can do in the grappling. So um, the other, the last thing I want to say is I think Armin, if he gets in trouble with the grappling. Michael Chandler was able to survive because he was like, all right, I'm just going to fucking survive. Armin, I think, is going to scramble to try and get back to his feet. I don't want to be on the ground with this guy. And when you scramble, when you're trying to get out of positions, that's when you get caught. So I'm going Charles Du Bronx, Oliveira, the champion has a name. Listen, I, I get the love for Charles Oliveira. I, I do think he's a bit overrated. And I don't like he's he beat everybody he was supposed he's to a beat. Three time so, champion. Yeah, no, exactly. He beat everybody he's supposed to beat. It's not his fault. But he was fortunate enough to beat the old guard. He got Dustin Poirier. He got uh, uh, Justin Gagey. He got uh, Justin just uh, Michael BSD. Chandler. Justin That's the Gagey's old guard fighting for the BMF. He's a BMF champion. The new guard is Michael Armin. Chandler's about to fight Conor McGregor. The new guard is Armin Islam. Those guys, those Dagestanis, the Russians, those guys are the new guard. The beast wrestlers that have tech, Garam, like those guys are the new guard. And I think Charles at perfect timing, the people he was able to beat when he was able to beat them. I agree with, no, Garam, Kutaladzidzi. Hadn't he lost his last three fights or two fights? He lost one. Um... But I do think uh, you have a valid point with the whole Armin just knocked out somebody and he thinks he's going to be able to strike. That That is a very valid point. But And he is young, which worries me a little bit. But typically, these guys will stick to the proper game plan. And my whole point, somebody said, what's Armin's win that's so good, that's better than Charles? He doesn't have a win that is better than Charles yet. But nobody does until they do. I think it's literally... A clash of styles. I think the wrestling is going to be too much. We have seen Charles out-wrestled many times in the past. I think the wrestling is too much. And I think he avoids getting submitted. So that's why I think Armin wins. I will tell you, all of the people screaming and yelling in the comment sections. No, I was just going to say. I already have. I do have a bet on him for premium. You can check that out. I do have him in a parlay, but not the safety parlay. I left him out of the safety parlay. I wanted to do this. I wanted him in there. And I left him out because I'm like, everybody's just screaming and yelling. This is crazy. So I did leave him out because, I, you know, I said, what am I missing? So we are on opposite sides of this fight. Opposite sides of the scale as well. Yeah, not only that, this guy goes, first time watching the stream. I love the predictions. Guy up top looks really short. The fuck? Stand up and, I mean, you can stand up and show him. I can stand up. I will stand up. Yeah, fuck this guy. You gotta watch him hop out of that chair. <laughs> Whoop. My legs are dangling. Come on, camera, follow me, camera. Well, now it's, you're not gonna be able to tell, really. Six three. Boom. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> What's going on, on down camera, there? Come on, camera, find my face. Oh shit, it's not finding my face. Up we go. Oh 
God, here we go. UFC 300. Up we Sorry, go. guys. Like the stream if you haven't already. We appreciate it. There's almost a thousand people in here, which is pretty fun. What is going on with the camera? Uh, up we yeah, go. Yeah, Angelo really kind of fucked this up. But since we don't have Angelo, <laughs> let me just say that his whole entire you know arm and breakdown, I, I pray to God that you guys did not listen to that fucking bullshit because we all know the that Charles Oliveira is going to absolutely fucking smoke this, dude. Come on, man. It is dude Bronx, baby. He's focused. He's locked in. He's ready to go. <laughs> There we it's go. It's crazy how much he's going to dominate this fight. And hopefully Angelo can <laughs> be a little for, bit more thank professional. Thank you for covering me. <laughs> thank you for covering me, Jacob. You're the one who told me to stand up all because this guy said I, I didn't was say. Short. I said don't do the camera because it's going to fucking, you could have just stood up. You didn't have to fucking make the camera go with you. Then all you would have seen in my genitals. It would have been, you would have seen tall dipshit, you fuck idiot. <laughs> just like that eclipse video of the balls that go, that go, uh, that mean, slowly that's go that, over that's the that eclipse. That's that dad humor that we're talking about. Like you sent me that and it's like, you're like, <laughs> oh, that was video? hilarious. Watch that was video. hilarious. Oh, get the hell watch out of here. Watch the video. Like, that was hilarious. Watch the video. Watch it. It's balls. You balls. didn't know what the video was. Balls. Hey, dude, I've seen it. Every, every single person has said that. That was in the discord <laughs> 50,000 times, Angela. That's what I'm talking about. You think you're unique in it. Dude, watch it, dude. Watch it, balls. <laughs> well, I thought it was funny. So, all right. That's all right. What I'm talking about. Well, let's move on, Jacob. And yes, I am tall. You fucking losers. And if you want to see how tall I am, Jacob and I fist fought. You can watch me next to Jacob in that fight. Before you go, let me give you $50. Anybody who goes to wewantpicks.com slash bets and signs up with any one of our affiliate partners gets $50 as a thank you. Use the link, sign up, make a deposit. We send you 50 bucks as a thank you.